Uh, the operational aspects of the uh, Make and Bib Animal Shelter. Uh, this, we now have both the enforcement uh, functions of animal welfare as well as uh, the shelter operations. Uh, we had a meeting today with all of the employees uh, that are involved in all aspects of animal welfare uh, so that we're all on the same page uh, going forward. There's a lot of factors that got us to where we are here today. Uh, part of those have been through uh, the Department of Agriculture uh, inspections of which uh, the, the shelter has been found to uh, have, have fallen short on some of those inspections uh, to the point to where the, the Department of Agriculture has brought some sanctions uh, towards the shelter as well as making be of government. Well, as part of that, as part of working through uh, all of this process, as working through uh, bringing the shelter into compliance with Department of Agriculture rules, uh, it's been uh, agreed between uh, Mayor Rickert uh, and myself that the Sheriff's Office uh, uh, should take over the uh, operations of the shelter. Uh, the Department of Agriculture has recommended that all the shelter and enforcement uh, functions of animal welfare really should be under one entity uh, anyway. Uh, and so uh, sheriff's offices have some experience in running shelters. There are several sheriff's offices in Georgia that already run shelter operations as well as enforcement operations. Uh, under state law, sheriffs have some responsibility over livestock and animals and that sort of thing. So, uh, and, and we know a little something about uh, containment and keeping things uh, uh, safe and keeping things where they're at. We do run a jail uh, for, for people, so uh, we have uh, the means, we have the support, we have uh, inmate work crews that are coming out here. We have some out here today uh, that have been out here that are going to help the shelter, but I will say that the shelter staff has done a great job uh, since the shelter has been uh, shut down by the Department of Ag. They have done a great job in getting the shelter up and running, getting it up to par as to uh, what the Department of Agriculture uh, requirements are. And that, first and foremost, is our number one goal going forward, is to meet those requirements that have been set forth by the Department of Agriculture as far as how the shelter needs to be run in cleanliness and operations, uh, in operating procedures, in, in structure. So those are the first things. And so there's still some steps that we have to go through uh, to accomplish all of that, there's been a, a, a consent agreement between the Department of Agriculture and Macon Bibb County Government. We're working to submit the required documentation to the Department of Agriculture to meet their requirements. Once we have done that, we look forward to uh, having the shelter back open and, uh, and moving forward. So uh, today is uh, a new day. We are starting over. Uh, it's, it's fortunate that we only have just a few animals. It's, uh, just 20 something animals here uh, right now. And so it's, it's fortunate that we have this opportunity to really start from scratch. It's almost like a new shelter is opening uh, under, under new leadership through the Sheriff's Office. Uh, Colonel Henderson Carswell has been designated as the overall uh, animal welfare uh, supervisor for the Sheriff's Office. Uh, uh, nobody, nobody is in jeopardy of losing their jobs. There's no, no chance of that. However, everybody is gonna be expected to do their jobs and to do their job professionally. They're professional people and dedicated people on all sides, on the shelter side, on the enforcement side. Uh, there are people who are really dedicated to doing the right thing for the citizens of Bibb County and for the animals they encounter. Uh, we just have it all under one direction now and have it all under one entity and we look forward to uh, to being a success. And I ask the public uh, to give us time. Uh, the Sheriff's Office today is the new day. We're starting forward from today, uh, coming into compliance with the Department of Agriculture rules to making all of the things that we need to do to get back open and get back up and running. And we, we appreciate the, uh, the help. Uh, we want people to understand it's gonna take us a little time to get to where we need to be but we are dedicated to that purpose and we're gonna achieve that purpose with their help. And I invite everyone, please, once we get back up and running, come out, check out the shelter, get involved, 
come out and adopt some animals, adopt some dogs, adopt some cats. That's what we really need. We need to have people who are involved, who are coming out and, uh, and, and taking, these, taking these animals. And so. Can we ask questions? Sure. Um, so with the funding, can you talk a little bit about that funding? Um, will it, because I assume that the animal shelter gets grants. Um, so you all will work together with that funding? Certainly. Any, any grant opportunities, and we were just talking about some just a minute ago. Uh, and, and so the, any grant opportunities that come uh, that are available both through public, uh, uh, public sources, private sources, or whoever, we're certainly, because some of the things, there are some upgrades, there's some things that we, we need to do uh, to kind of bring the shelter up to, uh, up to the standards that the Department of Ag have met. So we have some funds available through SPLOS, but grant funds and that, that sort of thing, that's part of that community involvement. So certainly uh, it is, a, it, it is a, uh, an important part. Uh, two questions. Yes, number sir. one, this is not that all. This is, I mean, this shelter, I remember, came to the opening. And number one, number two, are you, are you going to use the inmates? Yes. Uh, part of, and that's part of what we have from the sheriff's office. We have the resources. We have inmate labor that can come out and help uh, get, the, uh, get the shelter cleaned up. I think one of the inspections that the Department of Agriculture came in at a time uh, when maybe the staff hadn't had a chance to clean up, those kinds of things. We're not, we're not here to talk about how we got to where we are now. There are factors, many different factors from many different sizes that, that got us to where we are today. This is a new day starting today through the Sheriff's Office. Ultimately, I'm in charge through the Sheriff's Office. Colonel Henderson Carswell will be in charge of the day-to-day -day operations of of all of the animal welfare functions. So, so yes, this is, uh, uh, this is part of uh, the resources that we have to bear. We have some, we've had some out here today that's sort of, sort of cleaning up and doing some things, but just mainly to show that we have that, uh, that resource available and we're gonna bring it out when we need to.